Hi, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back again to my channel. For those who are in the family, you guys are my favorite. I'm really super excited to be back and I'm here as we have started another chapter of content creation and sharing a lot of things so from now onward you're going to see this face and I'm going to try my best to be available and to give you all the information that I needed I've been receiving a lot of questions about our country so I'm going to do a video as you see from the title I'm going to talk about the things that you need when you come to Tanzania. First of all, Tanzania is a very beautiful country. It's found in Africa and it's on the eastern part of Africa. When you search for Tanzania, the things which are going to come, you're going to hear Serengeti, you're going to hear, uh, you're going to see Mountain Kilimanjaro. Basically, there's so many things which are found in Tanzania and as someone who loves their country, I'm Tanzanian by blood. I'm born here and raised here. So I know a little bit about so many things concerning our country. And so today this video is to give you some ABC so as you can be able to prepare yourself when you come to Tanzania. First thing that I would want you to know when you come to Tanzania is about internet. I think this is something which is most important to most of the people when you come to Tanzania. And especially when you're coming here and you don't know anybody you really have to get the internet so as you can be able to communicate with the people that you're meeting in our country or a place that you're going so internet you can access internet when you come to Tanzania most of people say Africa you don't have internet so I'm here to tell you guys we have internet and we have different versions of uh, companies which offer internet but i'm just going to mention some few uh which you can access when you reach into a country the first thing that you need is to get a sim card and you need a sim card and after getting a sim card you need now to have an internet so for those people who don't know swahili then here comes you need to be involved and talk to people who are here who knows a little bit of english and they can help you out to get a sim card we have Vodacom, we have Airtel, we have Tigo, we have what else? I think those are the mostly famous. We have TTCL, yeah, we have TTCL. So you can get a SIM card and you can be able to access internet. But in case you don't have a SIM card, then you can access the Wi-Fi. After you reach in Tanzania, you can access Wi-Fi so as you can be able to make a call or you can be able to request uh, any transportation that you are about to request the second thing that you need is transportation and you might be thinking I'm going to a country I know nobody probably you're doing a solo trip you know no one you have to to know how you're going to get in the hotel that you're going or probably you're going to an, an Airbnb so it's up to you we have Bolt, we have Uber, we have Farasi. You can install Uber even when you're in your country. So as when you reach here, you have to know the exactly location that you're going. So as when you're requesting for an Uber, it's gonna be easy for you to request. It's just normal, the same way that you can request if you are in another country. I think it's the same procedure that you can use. The most important things is just to know the place that you're going. Yeah, so that's my second point. And the third point, the most important thing that you need to know is where exactly are you going? Because maybe you're coming to Tanzania and you have already booked a hotel or you have booked uh, an Airbnb. So you have to know the exactly place that you're going. Like what is the name of the place? Okay, for example, you're going to Serena Hotel. So you have to take your phone and search where is Serena Hotel or when you are requesting our transportation you're using uber you're using bolts you have to type serena hotel so when you type serena hotel it can take you straight from the airport to serena i think that is the easiest way you can get transportation but another thing you can also use the tax drivers who are around the airport although they can be a little bit challenging because most of people who does not know swahili they uh they might take advantage of you for a shorter distance to uh, give you a large amount of money to pay so it can be Difficult for you. So I would suggest you go for Bolt or you go for uber. It's easier for you We go to another point that is 
how am I going to pay? <laughs> so I know that for Bolt and Uber, you can pay via uh, your card, but not most of people uh, receive money via cards, especially in our country. If at all, you can go and exchange the money to our money. You're coming with your USD. Uh, you can exchange money so as you can get money and be able to pay around the airport. Exchange money and then you can pay through any way that you decide like this is the way that i'm going to pay i forgot the most important point is our national language is swahili so it can be tricky because not everybody speaks english as you can hear me right now not everybody speaks english so some of the people do not know english at all make sure you ask around and as i say uh, not knowing English can be a disadvantage to you because people can take advantage on you and I think anybody can take advantage on you in any country but can do that so I want to encourage you to research if you're coming here to stay at least you can go to Google and type like I need to ask for help like how do I ask for help in Swahili? I think Google can help you. There are applications which speaks about uh, how to conversate in Swahili. They can teach you ABC. So as when you come here, you're not completely uh, numb. You don't know anything about our language. So I think that is something I could recommend. And I would re recommend for someone who is coming to stay for longer time. You don't need to know all the words, but at least you need to know the basics of the things. Like you need to know hi, how do you greet people? How do you ask for help? How do you talk to someone in Swahili? Like even if you want to ask them a question, how are you going to approach them? Because it's different for one person to another and especially when there's a language barrier. So that is something that you should consider. After saying that, I'm really happy and thank you guys for texting me on my Instagram. You guys have been amazing. A lot of people have been texting me, a lot of people have been asking me questions and I really love it because it tells me you guys are watching my content. So please don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. Please do it, like and share it with your family and friends. And also ask me a lot of questions as you, the question that you want to ask me please put them down so as I can be able to know the next content that I'm making. Otherwise, after saying that, I'm really happy to be here and I want to tell you that I love you so much. Thank you very much. I watch my videos, other videos, and let's catch up on the another video. Bye. Come, come.